All right, guys, it's time for a garden tour. It's this garden was built by the people who lived here before us, and it was so cute. It was such a selling point when we uh, saw the house. Uh, it's really pretty. It's got four uh, beds in it. It's fenced all the way around, and then there's actually, or there used to be grapevines growing over this entryway. When we got here, I was so excited about gardening and learning everything there was to know about growing things outside in New York and we went completely overboard and planted so many things in the garden. One of the things I wanted to plant was birdhouse gourds. I read that you could plant uh, a few seeds and then that would turn into like this jungle of these huge gourds that you can dry and hollow them out and then birds can make little houses in them, which I thought was cute. This is the result. I'm gonna show you what happened. I planted five seeds in this corner of the garden, right in there. And they grew up and they took over the entrance and they went around and they went around the back and they went around the other side and then they met up in the back corner and they've completely surrounded the garden in vines. They have taken over. So, I don't necessarily find this to be problematic. I kind of thought it looked beautiful. But what I'm realizing now, if you look right here, is that there's some areas that are starting to die off. And I'm not sure what's happening with some of these leaves. But uh, I don't know if it's like a bacterial or a fungal thing or if they're just starting to die. But I have gourds all over. I think I have like 20 or 30 gourds. They say that you should let the gourds grow until the stems turn brown. And these stems are still green. But I'm a little nervous that there's some sort of something growing in here because this section is dead. And if you see, there's two gourds on that side of the fence that are also not looking happy. So rather than let them continue to grow and potentially get infected, I'm gonna cut them now. The plan is to cut them, dry them, and then turn them into little birdhouses to put all over our little forest. So, figured we'd try to harvest them today. Sometimes my dog likes to bark at the chickens. Uh, get them cleaned up, get them ready to dry, and uh, that'll be, I guess, part one of birdhouse board video. And then uh, I'll do a part two where I show you what we do with them later. They have to dry out for weeks or even a couple of months first, so. Um, if you want to look on the other side real quick, we inherited three rose bushes on this side of the garden. The birdhouse gourds claimed everything. So, yeah. Learned a lesson this season. I want to harvest one. Ooh. Okay, see? Ooh. Little... It looks so There's good. Where? Yes. I get to harvest one. Inside. Do you want me to get the tall stuff? No. Give it like three or four inches of stem though when you cut them. I see one. <laughs> oh, I want the big one. My most successful harvest. <laughs> yeah. See, look. It's so dirty. These two, I'm not cleaning. This one, I'm not sure about. Maybe they'll try. That one is okay. They're all over. They're on the back too. 
I get some of those to the chickens. It's crazy how many I got. And if I had done better, I would have done more. We have so many birdhouse gourds. <laughs> Even if only like five of them dry properly? No, I think they have a little over the big boy. Oh. Oh, do you see our grapes? Uh-huh. Okay, I think that's all from the inside. No grape seeds. Huh? Grape seeds. Get them. Actually, we could grow more. We yeah, more. Know, grab all of them. <laughs> How many do you think we got today? 30, 40? I think almost 40. 40? These this things one. took over the whole garden, but at the end of the day, it was our most successful crop. So, we have to wash them, clean them, bleach them, and then let them dry for a while. So, uh, I think that that will be another video. But, I'd call this a pretty good loot. Should we show them our loot? Mm -hmm. And then after this, I'm going to tear down this damn garden and make it look good again. Show them what we got. So much gourds. I almost called them loofah. I know, I planted loofah too, but the birdhouse gourds kind of strangled them out. Are they heavy? Probably. Well, that's a lot. Off to bleaching. <laughs> when you live in the forest and you have rusty shears and a knife, what else is there to do? Let's attack the garden. It looks so bare and naked. But, this is also kind of how it's supposed to look. I just pulled off all the vines and it was actually pretty easy. They all were attached to each other. So there's like a pile of vines going all around. Anyway guys, I have a lot to clean up, compost, and uh, that's it for today. Winter is coming, <laughs> as they say. And uh, time to get the garden ready for it. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Until the next time. Urban Farm Boys on Instagram if you want to see more. Take care, guys.